delivery. I said, come, we'll give you money because we need it to be here. We paid everything up front. I told you before that when I was buying it, oh, the cheese, everybody said they will use it. They said the kids will use it. They said nobody has tested it, but if, if it fell break, if it just said, don't worry. We will not go that. No matter the number. Yes, so my country people don't be smart, you know, the former governor of Anambra State and our president to be cons 2023, Peter will be for those of now when don't know what they talk about. <laughs> Now the man I just see for my screen, so very humble person. My country people and my fellow Nigerians, I beg anywhere you for come across this video, any of my platform, be my YouTube channel, my Facebook page, I beg make you not watch this video because now one of my friends be like, say man, not be even from Nigeria, from Ghana for that matter. Now let me know, say man, who me picking this video? I beg. I want me you can't talk about and I say no this one not be video be like say me I go watch hello this man talk many many things for inside this video Nigeria's home and abroad if you know if you go Nigeria those ones will be like say me the day Nigeria make una go get una PVC ready because um, Peter will be now the only opportunity when we Nigerians get now be this one if we miss this opportunity again if una go vote for Jagaba of Africa when he be like say no fi hold common flag on the wood stick in off he hold him. If you na go vote for him, now na know everybody go suffer and for good eight years again. When my crocker people make him not be like say me run picking at two talk. Now go live on a right now make him watch this full video. Where I go see you now for the next update coming out soon. And anything, eighty percent of companies that are collapsed in Nigeria were killed by government indebtedness. This is the only country where government. Governor, local government chairman, or does anything without any responsibility of paying for it. It doesn't happen anywhere. In the UK, public procurement is paid within 30 days. In Ghana, Rwanda is 60 days. I want to give examples of what is local here. Here, it doesn't bother anybody. I have a governor who has since left and is doing very well. He bought from a company. 750 jeeps for his traditional rulers. He bought it at 99 million. The company was expecting to make 1.5 million. He took the vehicles, gave it to traditional rulers, and everybody wants to give it to. Four years, to, as I'm speaking here, that company has not been paid. They borrowed 300 million to do that job from a bank. Today they are 25%. Today they've lost their profits. They have lost their capital injection. They are debt of 732 million as a result of that transaction. They sold over 200 of their workers. And the governor has received all manner of title from the traditional rulers and has been given us of our award as a good performer and is looking for the next post. The country cannot continue that. You can actually pay. Today, people are celebrating innocent. The only thing why innocent was functional, I said it here in platform, and I repeat it again. When innocent started his factory, he came to me. I said, innocent, since you are in Anambra State, producing vehicles, and you are employing thousands of people from this state and surrounding, we will be your highest customer. Go and tell me whether you can produce a boss said yes. Pick up for police said yes. I said, how about Jews for traditional rulers? Said yes. I said, since you can do them, innocent, I'm going to give you an order. He's there, he will tell you. I gave him an order for 1,000 vehicles at 5 billion. And I paid him everything at least 180 days before delivery. I said, come, we'll give you money because we need it to be here. We paid everything up front. I told you before that when I was buying it, oh, the chiefs, everybody said they won't use it. They said the kids won't use it. They said nobody has tested it. But if, if it fell break, if you just said, don't worry. <laughs> we will not go that. No matter the number of people he killed, the ones who remain, who remain in Anambra. <laughs> but we are going to buy the vehicle. That's how we bought the vehicle. As I speak to you today, not one of those vehicles has had a problem. The treasurers are losing it. Everybody is losing it. We did the same thing I told you about your stand. I went to him and said, you're a Nigerian company. 
We are going to buy this amount of computers from you. I can tell you what he told me. He said he doesn't deal with state government. I said, why? He said, payment. He said, I said, do you understand? I will give you money before you supply. I don't even want you to give me any anything. No bank guarantee. I pay you. If I look for you, I know where to find you. <laughs> and I paid him. And he delivered. So what was innocent. You know, he didn't give me bank guarantee. I can go on and on. Now that you've said we'll do made in Nigeria, I agree. Can we go to the government houses and make sure that all the chair and the beds there are made in Nigeria? Because that's where we will start. Let them come here and buy. I was number one, I was number one customer of PAM. While I was in government, go and ask them in Kaduna. I was not their number one customer. Because I insist you must buy made in Nigeria. So I agree with all those things. But we let those also pay them. I made a policy when I was in government that nobody should be owed more than 60 days while I was there. Go and ask and I said to the platform, yeah, again, if any contract or supplier, anybody, will say that the day I left office, it was being owed for a mature certificate or payment that is due, come here, I will, I will resign from politics. Never. Because it's people's money. You must support them. It is important. It's critical. We've lost yesterday as a country. And by yesterday, I mean for 1960 to the year 2000. Why did I say 1960? Why did I say that? Because that was wasted. Not that nothing happened. Something happened. But we lost it. In year 2000, Nigeria became a signatory. So I call it today to what they call UNMDG goals. All of you are aware of it. UNMDG goals have ten, eight critical areas. Nigeria became a signatory in the same year to water is for life. You people don't know, Nigeria is a signatory which says that if they don't provide you water, you can sue Nigeria. But that is, don't, don't sue them, please. Because they will not sue them. But they, so they sign all those things. They sign all those things abroad and come home here. And then throw away the papers in which they sign it. So, for MDG, MDG allowed in 2015. Nigeria as a country, though they made impact, they tried, some of the states tried, did not achieve any of the goals. In 2015, Nigeria became a signatory among the 193 countries that signed for sustainable development goals. That will end in 2030. So you know why I'm talking about 2030. My appeal and demand of Nigerians today is, haven't lost yesterday and today. Can we resolve that as a country, that universal global destination, everybody is going, other countries are following, that we, that includes everything you need for development, is there. You can go and read it, 17 each points. It includes everything. Can we resolve as a country, and request the drivers of this nation, to drive us, along that destination. We don't want anything. All we want is to know we are going with everybody to this because it's very clear, it's measurable. Let our planning, our budgeting, execution and delivery be along the path of this journey to 2030. So that we haven't lost yesterday and today, let us make a resolution that we cannot lose tomorrow. For the sake of our children, God bless you all. Nigeria is a scam. Hey, nobody believe God though. Everybody not the same.